Only weeks before the Kronje scandal broke, England came to South Africa. Their last game in the Test Series was at Centurion Park near Pretoria. South Africa's captain was Hansi Kronje. But rain had interrupted much of the play and it looked as if the match would be drawn. On the fourth evening of this test, Kronje was phoned on his mobile by a professional gambler. The caller wanted him to declare early and make a game of it. Hansi picked up the phone, said Hansi, I introduced him myself, who I was, etc. And I gave him the suggestion. At the time, yes, to get his attention, etc., I said, listen, what about the donation of about 200,000 Rand? If you can get this to happen from a, to, to a charity of your choice. Now, that was also part of him to listen to. He, why normally should the member of the South African cricket team listen to any total stranger? Normally, you'd probably be told to go jump in the lake. Marlon Aronstam, self-confessed cricket lover and bookie, um, phones up Cronier. It's the time of the fifth test against England at Centurion Park in January 2000. He leaves me messages on Cronier's cell phone, and within a matter of hours, Aaron Stam is in Cronier's hotel room. And he said, OK, he likes that, yeah, and if he can pull it off, he'll call me back and let me know. A few hours later, Aaron Stam received a text message from Cronier on his mobile phone. The message is, be patient, working on it possible game. Okay. Suddenly the message is, we have a game. So I went to Centurion, there I saw, bang, there's a declaration, I said, I can't believe it. I actually pulled this off, I was shocked. Now, I told all my friends about it, they all said I was mad, I said, I'm telling you, there's going to be a game tomorrow. Now, I was told Aronstam says he was too late to make any money out of this game, and he certainly could have done. The match turned out to be an unexpected win for England. An absolute thriller here, all credit. But Cronje made money. Aronston paid him 53,000 rand, and the text messages continued. Why did he keep sending you text messages on your mobile phone after you had paid him 53,000 rand? But that's what I paid him the 53,000 rand for, to get all the information for the following one-day series coming up hopefully for information coming up. The 50,000 50, Rand was paid to him as a deposit for information for the future. The 3,000 Rand was paid because he gave me good information on one match. So how much money did you make out of gambling on cricket as a result of the information that you got from Hansi Kronje? Well, each, that's certain things I can't, that's the certain things that's, I don't know, if you had to ask me exactly now, I can't tell you either. I didn't, uh, each match is a different uh, event. But your investment was covered? From what I gave him, yes. Sure.